Exclusive Caveman. Made that in grade 9 art class. Oh, yes. 30 years ago, Mrs. Molson, thank you, still got it. I want to do a session on cavemen. Why? I have no freaking idea. I just want to ask the spirits about cavemen. Good morning, everybody. Day two of the caveman session. Again, I'm super excited. I don't know why. I just like the topic of cavemen. I hope I got the right questions asked. I got two pages filled out here, and I got way more questions I want to ask that keep circulating in my head. We'll see uh, what I have time for. But uh, I've got the sink set up here with the sugar bowl on the right, the kettle fountain on the left, no water in either of them. Let's just start filling this and uh, see if we can get some communication going here. Quest for Fire is a 1981 prehistoric fantasy adventure film directed by Jean-Jacques Enaud and written by Gerard Brock. The story is set in Paleolithic Europe 80,000 years ago, with its plot surrounding the struggle for control of fire by early humans. The Ulam are a tribe of cavemen who possess fire in the form of a carefully guarded small flame, which they use to start larger fires. Driven out of their home after a bloody battle with the ape-like Wagaboo, the Ulam are horrified when their fire is accidentally extinguished while taking refuge in a marsh. Because the tribe does not know how to create fire themselves, the tribal elder decides to send three men, Nao, Amakur, and Ga, on a quest to find fire. I wanted to include Quest for Fire because I remember watching this movie as a kid. It is a Canadian film, so maybe a lot of you haven't seen it. It's pretty uh, highly acclaimed, and uh, it was detailed, and it was almost in a class of its own. There's only a couple of other caveman-type films that I remember that are as good as this one. I haven't watched it in many years. Maybe I'll go watch it again. If you do watch it, then you'll probably finally figure out why your husband goes like that towards you sometimes. It's a guy thing. And for all you single guys out there, if you have not been using this signal, it is perfect for when you're out at the bar. You don't even need a pickup line. Do you guys remember, do you spirits remember the movie Quest for Fire? 
Did you like that movie? I know I did. Did cavemen actually live like that? Was the life of a caveman more relaxed than our modern day lives? Why did the caveman paint on the walls of caves? Do they use that method to tell a story of great hunts? Caveman used some of the same words we do by Rose Eveleth, May 7th, 2013. In the movies, cavemen do a whole lot of grunting and pointing. We modern humans, on the other hand, have evolved language. We have words like Google and twerk. Shakespeare gave us besmirch and gloomy, but our modern language still has some remnants of the grunting caveman who came before us, words that linguists say might have been conserved for over 15,000 years. The sentence that, according to the Washington Post, contains most of these words goes like this. You hear me? Give this fire to that old man. Pull the black worm off the bark and give it to the mother. And no spitting in the ashes. The list of these ultra-conserved words which survived from early languages includes mother, not, what, to hear, man, to flow, ashes, and worm. Did cavemen have a fully developed language? <laughs> Was there anything better about being a caveman as opposed to modern day man? Was there a rule against pooping in the cave? Or did they let the old timers poop in the cave? The Stone Age began around 2.5 million years ago and ended just 4,500 years ago. There were four different types of humans in the Stone Age. Tool makers called Homo habilis, fire makers called Homo erectus, Neanderthals called Homo neanderthalensis, and modern humans called Homo sapiens. In the early Stone Age, humans lived in caves. Later on in the Stone Age, they did start to build huts made out of wood and animal skins, and then towards the end of the Stone Age, they started to build permanent places to live, with a roof. How did mating work for cavemen? I don't mean the logistics. I mean, as a clan. <laughs> Did the strongest caveman just take what he wanted? Was it a free-for-all sexually in the cave, or did cave people partner up? Did they realize the value of having, say, an outsider from a different clan come over and maybe... So you're not inbreeding all the time? Did they understand that? The only two things humans had to do was to look for food and to protect themselves from wild animals. Humans learned to farm during the Stone Age. 
Early on in the Stone Age, humans hunted animals and gathered fruits and nuts. By the end of the Stone Age period, they learned how to farm. They grew crops including maize, wheat, and barley. There used to be lots of animals around in the Stone Age that just don't exist anymore. We either killed them all or they couldn't adapt to the changing world well enough to survive. Some animals that are now extinct include the woolly rhinoceros, woolly mammoth, cave bear, and giant deer. The caveman did have some animals that we are familiar with, like sheep, wolves, hyena, hippopotamus, and wild boars. Stone Age people made their own tools. They weren't very advanced and mostly made out of stone, but they made tools like stone or wooden clubs, bone needles, bone flutes, stone axes, stone knives, and even bow and arrows. More importantly, something else came out of the Stone Age, and that's they domesticated the dog, man's best friend. How smart was the average caveman? What was their average IQ? How did the first caveman that invented the bow and arrow, how did he come up with that idea? Were there more Bigfoot in the time of the caveman? Did cavemen steer clear of Gigantopithecus? Why do I have this fascination with cavemen? Do you spirits have a message for any of our viewers? If so, please state their name and leave them a message. Alright, thank you very much for answering my questions on the caveman. Love, peace, joy, and adventure to all of you spirits. Sending out the light. Same to you viewers. Love, peace, joy, and adventure. Catch you in the next crazy topic video. Whatever that may be. I just realized I ran the whole thing and I forgot to put this on. Wonder if that'll make a difference. <laughs>